Hi everyone, I am Karan Anand. I am the DevOps lead here at NID Jalandhar. And today I am, going, I am here with a quick demonstration of how to upload our projects on GitHub ASAP. So let's get started. Moving on to my screen. So first of all, uh, project uh, step one, be ready uh, with your project. So here I am with my project file over here containing all of my assets for GitHub. Now uh, step two, let's go to uh, our browser of choice and go to github.com mm -hmm. okay okay so here i am on, on github.com so first of all now here we can, what we can do is we can create an account if we don't have any till now and don't be panic a github account is free and second thing uh, if you have an account you can just uh, go and sign in which is which i'm gonna do, do, do right now i'm gonna sign in and i have my credentials over here sign in okay so uh, what we need to do right now is create a new repository this can be done by two ways uh, either by clicking on this green button or we can click on this plus icon and click on new repository now what uh, we need to do now is uh, fill out the name of our repository we can either give a unique name or we can uh, take one from the from the suggestions given by github over here so in this in my case I'm, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say um new website so new web is nice okay so and for the for this demonstration I'm gonna be keeping this public as this video is intended for the people who are uh, going to upload their projects for the induction so keep uh, if you are for if you're doing this for the induction uh, please keep uh, make sure that your uh, like repository is public okay also you can add a readme file we are going to have a discussion about what is this readme file later in the video so for now let's just uh, upload our project uh, and create a repository okay so here my repository is created now uh, don't be scared by seeing these commands um, if you have uh, done git or you, ha uh, or you have uh, like explored the session recently done by Anubhavaya you can uh, see the you, you may understand these commands but uh, in this for the sake of this tutorial we are not going to go in these commands rather we are going to click on this upload existing uh, files we can click on this and click on uh, choose our, our, our choose your or choose your files okay so now in this folder I have opened this folder and I have selected all of these three files that I have in it and click on open okay so now all of my three files are being uploaded so uh, some projects uh, may have a lot of uh, files with them but uh, what we need to do is we have to upload uh, files in a batch of 80 if, if it is greater than 80 because github don't support up uploading uh, files more than 80 at a single time so upload them in batches okay if your file count is less than 80 no need to worry if it is greater than 80 just divide all the files in 80 in a in a chunk of 80 or less and then upload it in bunch okay now it is asking for commit changes so what we need to do over here is we have to add a commit message and if you don't know what a commit message is uh, don't be scared just simply type uh, upload uh, uploaded mm, offline uh, codes okay code files okay fine now we can commit our changes now it is processing all the files okay in a minute or two you can see we have all of our file all of our files over here hmm. so in this case uh, curious one uh, among you m m might have noticed that uh, this is having an HTML and a CSS file so this is actually a website a static website to be exact okay uh, now with the help of github what we can do is we can also host these websites using something called github pages so it's a, it's a really easy process hmm. if uh, we can uh, go to settings and then we can go to um, pages and then what we can do is we can click on this none uh, under branches and then click on main and then click on save okay now it is going to spit a message like this no issues hmm. okay within uh, one or two minutes 
you will be having uh, your pro your uh, you will be having a URL over here that you can use uh, to sh uh, to show your we uh, website to other people uh, as they can um, uh, as they can explore your project. Okay, so now we can go back to our project. Mm -hmm. Project. Mm -hmm. Okay. So you may see uh, what you may see is we have also a readme file over here. Hmm. So what we can do is we can create a readme file. Okay. So now you're going to see something like this. Hmm. So this uh, what this is is it is a read it's a markdown file essentially in which you can uh, represent your data in a more organized way by using code. Hmm. So what you can do is you can uh, come over here and type my new project and basically what uh, we are doing over here is we can document our project this this step is not necessary by any means we have uploaded our code as per the asa as per the uh, limits of the of the of this tutorial but if you want to go a step ahead and uh, create a doc documentation on uh, giving the steps on how to uh, like see this how to make, make this project working or how to deploy this project on your own system or something like that you can add your steps over here in my case what i'm going to do is um my website link semicolon okay so till now i don't have my website link we, we will add this over here later so we can commit our changes and it is saying created readme file you can add any anything over here but i'm not i'm just gonna be sticking with this so change oops. okay so now you can see it is it has given me a heading and then a, a simple uh paragraph ty type of text right over here now we can go back to our settings to see our project um, on github pages so yeah it is showing me where your web, your site is live at this okay let's click and yes so this was my website and it is now successfully up, uh, uh, su su successfully being posted by the github pages okay cool we can copy its url and go back to here and again edit this and we can add this link we can add this link in this by using a square bracket for the text to show that is link and we can add the link in the parenthesis like this and then we can commit the changes save hmm. okay upload a bit more hmm. okay so now it is showing a link over here i can click over this and boom i am on my uh, portfolio uh, i am on my project website hmm. so this is how we can upload our project asap on github we can also make it uh, make it more uh, make the project look more effective by using a readme file in this we can uh, add the steps to how to how to deploy or we can add some descriptive text about this this is not a compulsory step but it will uh, make it look more better than other projects obviously and also uh, if it is a static website which is using html javascript and uh, css you can just deploy it using github pages uh, okay also uh, like if you are thinking how like if you are thinking uh, i have developed a nextjs or a react based application you cannot deploy it using uh, 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 using uh, github pages okay you can just it is just for uh, static websites okay so this was the tutorial okay and with this mm, i'm going to end this bye tata see you